Hey friends, welcome back to another video. My name is Emma Lefave, and today we're gonna to be painting some quick and easy punny Valentines. So let's jump right in and get started. Okay friends, so today we're gonna to be making some very punny Valentines. <laughs> Okay, like food pun Valentine's. I thought we'd do something super easy last minute and that's what we're gonna do. Okay, so I just have this piece of watercolor paper that I am splitting into six squares um, and we're just gonna do six different little punny Valentine's. Okay, so for our first one, all you need to do is grab some red watercolor, just grab some red, maybe a little bit of orange too in there if you'd like, and we're gonna be making some Circular red blobs. Can you guess what kind of food this is? They're tomatoes. We are painting simple tomatoes and you don't want to make it perfect or realistic at all. You kind of want them to have that funny caricature watercolor vibe to it. So they don't have to be even, they don't have to be perfect. Just lay that paint on that paper, you know, have some areas that are a bit lighter, have some areas that are a bit darker. Um, and like I said, throw some orange in there. Why not? Then you're going to grab some green and you're just going to do some little green leaves on the top. Now, can you guess what uh, pun this is going to be? You've probably seen it. I love you from my head to my toes. All right, that's our first one. We're going to come back and do some ink illustrations over top of some like little faces and stuff, but let's move on. Okay, our next one, we're actually going to be painting, you guessed it, a piece of pizza. You have a piece of my heart. <laughs> I obviously did not come up with these. I'm sure you guys have seen them. They're everywhere. Lots of people do different variations of them. This is just mine. Again, we're painting a little slice of pizza. So I started with some brown, no, burnt umber um, in a triangle, add a little bit of red for the sauce, and now I'm just adding some yellow. And yeah, they're bleeding into each other. I don't want to make it perfect. I kind of want to give it that, you know, caricature vibe. It's not special or anything. It's just super easy. Just Go with it. All right, gonna add in a little bit of darkness there um, and probably a little bit more after, but we're gonna let it dry first. Okay. Okay, and then once it's dry, you can take a little bit more burnt umber, even the red, and just make it a little bit more, um, not detailed, but just sharper over top. Um, just outlining kind of that sauce area and then we can put some toppings on there. Just grab some darker red slap some pepperoni on there. Maybe I'll grab a little bit of green, put some green pepper, and there you go. You got a slice of pizza. Slice of pizza. Super duper easy. Okay, next we're going to grab some purple. I'm just kind of mixing two purples together. It doesn't really matter what purple, and we are going to draw a beat. So think of a heart and then just kind of round out the top. That's it, super simple. And like I said, I'm just adding two different purples. I think I have dioxazine purple and then perline violet, I think it is. And we're just kind of slapping it on there. Gonna grab a bit more of the pigment and just put it to one side so we have a bit, you know, range of shadows and lightness and all that. And then we're gonna grab some green, just do some super simple leafy leaves <laughs> at the top. That's not a word. Um, and yeah, that's it. You're gonna let it dry. Let it dry. Oh, and that pun was, you make my heart skip a beat, if you didn't know. Pretty easy. Okay, next, we're gonna take some red. We're gonna do a little strawberry. Again, trying to add a little bit more darkness onto that one side. Just doing like an upside down teardrop shape. Add some little leaves at the top. So we're gonna have one berry, then we're gonna do kind of like a raspberry. So I'm just adding a bit of magenta to my red. And I'm just gonna do a cluster of these little circles. You can leave tiny little bits of white space. I'm just making it really, really simple and easy. Making it a bit lighter on the right side of it. And then adding a little bit of darkness to the top. And we're gonna let that completely dry. And while that's drying, we can move on to our next little pun. And we're just gonna do two little nuts here because I'm totally nuts about you. <laughs> These are awful, but they're easy to do and they're super fast and fun. Let's just keep going. So we're just doing like two U shapes with some burnt umber, adding some darkness to the outer sides, then grabbing a little bit of a darker brown. Um, we're just gonna put this little hat on these nuts. 
<laughs> and a little stem, simple, let it dry. That's it. All right. And then next, next we're going to grab some red and we're going to do this red cylinder. Yes, a red cylinder. Let's see if you can get what it is. Huh? Cylinder, a little bit of a curve to the bottom, a little bit of a curve to the top. Okay, just add in some red, just smoothing it out. I should have brought it down a little bit further, but I didn't. Then we're going to put kind of like almost a triangle on the top without the point. Then we're just going to do another little bit of red on the side just to make it a bit more vibrant. Another little shelf there. Darkness to the one side. Just really go for it around the bottom and then to the other side. And a little line right there. Can you guess what it is? It's a bottle. Green top should give it away. It's sriracha. It's hot sauce. Hot sauce. Hey, Valentine, your hot stuff. Get it? Okay. <laughs> All right. And there's our, our bottle of hot sauce. All right. So now that we have our first bit of illustrations, we want to make sure they're dry and then we can do a bit more detail and the cute little character faces on them. Okay. Now that they're dry, we're just going to do some really simple faces on them. You don't have to like be an expert at drawing at all. You're just gonna do two circles for some eyes and then you're just gonna do a little mouth. I like to make them like close to the eyes. I think it looks cute that way. And then some stick people hands and some stick people feet. And there you go. Some cute little tomatoes, maybe some eyebrows, totally up to you. Then you can write your little message. I'm just outlining some of those leaves, just doing a little bit of ink and wash, just making it cutesy. And like I said, it's I love you from my head to my toes, <laughs> to my toes. This is so lame, but it's funny. No, I don't know. You let me know. <laughs> this is a totally different video than I usually do, but we're going to go with it. Maybe I'll add a little bit of hearts. You can always add hearts, maybe a border to your little Valentine's. Just, you know, go with it. See what, see what you got here. Okay. Then our pizza. I'm just going to outline this one. I don't think I'm going to add a face. I don't know. No, I don't think I'm going to add a face. Uh, just kind of outline it. Maybe do some dripping cheese. I'll add some yellow to that later. You could do, you have a piece of my heart with this one, or you could always make it like really melty cheese and like you make my heart melt. I don't know. It could go either way. But that is our pizza one. And that is my handwriting. Okay. <laughs> so next, our beat. I'm just going to outline it. I like when it's like really loose and kind of tricky like that. I'm going to do another little smiley face at the bottom there. Super cute. Make it all smooshed together. And then I think I'm also going to add some hands holding a heart. You make my heart skip a beat. You could even think of a different one. I don't know. Add a little heart there. Super cute. And then you just write your little message to the side. I should have moved that one over a bit. That's centered and I don't really have a space for the message, but um, I'll write it to the one side. There we go. I just added some hearts just to even it out a bit. And then for the berries, I just wanted to add those little kind of dots on the strawberries. Maybe just outline some of the circles just a bit, just for a bit of texture. You don't have to do that part. It's up to you. And then we got to let that part dry. And then once it's dry, you can do your cute little faces again. Just make it so simple. And this one has its eyes closed, huh? I love you very much. So simple, but cute. Okay, let's move on. Okay, so here we have our nuts. I'm just doing a little bit of cross hatching on the top for a bit of texture. This guy has some hard eyes because he's totally nuts about the other nut. <laughs> and again, they're just probably gonna be holding hands, loving each other, you know. The huge. You can write your little message. And then our last one here. Let's just outline our little sriracha bottle. We could even add a little bit of a face to this one. I kind of wanted to make it a little bit more like, let's see, make the eyebrows. There we go. It's hot stuff. Get it? Get it? <laughs> Have his arms like kind of on his hips. It looks like hot stuff. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> And then you just say, hey, Valentine, you're hot stuff. And that's about it. And then you can just cut them up into little Valentines. You can add some more little hearts to them. You could even add a border if you had some room. I didn't really think of that. Um, and then just, you know, give them out to your friends. There's a significant other, whoever. Leave them on people's desks at work. I don't know. 
And that's it. That is so simple. And I made like six of them and it did not honestly take that long at all. So let me know which pun was your favorite. And if you have any good ones, you can let us know in the comments below. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this very silly tutorial. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and follow me on all my other platforms for tons more content. Have a great day. Bye.